Hello, this is old Mr. Kent of MrKent.com, and I use Caden Live for all of my video editing. Um, I've taken a few detours over time, but uh, I use it now 100% of the time. And uh, I started using it a long time ago, and oh, I don't know, it was over a year ago, I needed to learn how to do freeze frame, and I found a good video on it and learned how to do freeze frame. Well, in my last video, I hadn't used freeze frame for a long time, and of course, uh, 79 years old, <laughs> and uh, short memory, so uh, I went back to YouTube to refresh myself, and of course, the first video I came to was not uh, using the function freeze frame. It was kind of a workaround that would took a lot of more effort. And the second one, they used the same thing. They took a they took a still shot of the video and then they inserted it in there. But uh, that's not what I wanted. And uh, so finally, I found a video that showed us how to use freeze frame, but it didn't include everything that's possible. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just we'll title this. Uh, using, uh, let's see, the smart way to use freeze frame or something like that. So anyway, uh, we'll get started here and I'll show you how to do freeze frame in Caden Live. So here's a video of just a short clip of me coming home from my e-bike ride. And I want to get around the corner here. When I get around the corner, I want to, I want to freeze frame. I want to freeze the video. And so that people can look at that tree right there that hangs over the over the driveway. And I want people to know that um, uh, my son trimmed it. It used to hang down in front of the, uh, you know, in the drug on your car and everything. So this is a good spot to begin. So what we're going to do, and I'll keep it as simple as I can. Uh, let me get my keyboard over here so I can type. So first thing we want to do is we want to uh, create a marker at that point right there. So maybe we go a little further. Yeah, that's better right there. So we'll create a marker right there. You right click on the video, come up to markers and click add marker. So now we've got a marker there, okay? Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to find freeze frame. So we'll go up here and we'll type in freeze, F-R-E-E. -E. There it is right there. So it's in uh, motion. And so we're going to do freeze, and we're going to, well, anyway, we found it. That's how I'm getting ahead of myself. So we want this to be, last about five seconds. So if I, uh, it, so what I'm going to do, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video right there on the marker. I can move that over. I want to get my, I'll go over to my scissors, or you can click X on the keyboard, and come down and get right on top of the, marker and there I got it right there so I'm going to cut it right there now up here at the top it says uh, 13 seconds and 15 seconds and 17 seconds I want it to last about five seconds so if it starts out at 13 13 plus 5 is about 18 so that would be right about here so um, I will just put the marker there and so I got to go I got to come down with my uh, razor tool and I didn't need to put that uh, put the marker there so we'll just put that right there okay now we've got that part cut all right now we're going to go over here and click on the uh, the pointer and <clears throat> we're going to come up here and we're going to going to drag freeze into this part of the video okay it's that simple now we'll come over here and we'll see what it looks like I'm coming in the driveway and uh, then it freezes and it shows me where the tree is and I can say it's trimmed and so forth and so on and then uh, video goes on but wait a minute it skipped the part where I had uh, uh, you know continued on from the freeze frame so what what they've done with Caden live is they made it real easy for that to fix and what you do let's go ahead and hit M on the on the uh, keyboard because you might do this later on in the video uh, where you got everything way back here and you don't mess it up. So you hit M and that moves everything uh, beyond that point, uh, moves it all over. All right, so now we'll go back and we'll click on the pointer. Now watch this as I, I get the end of this video and I start dragging it. And what's that? You see that marker? That's the marker that we made when we first started. So if we put our... our um, if we move our video right over to it's right where it's right on top of the marker right there all right now then we'll hit M again 
and we'll drag that down and put it right there with the with the end of the freeze frame. Now let's go back over here, and well, we got to get back to the pointer. We'll come back over here, and we're coming in the driveway, and there's our freeze frame. And so I want to be sure and continue on following the freeze frame. And so because I put that marker in there, it continues right on. So I hope I haven't gone too fast for you on this. I know I didn't I didn't go too slow. Uh, maybe you could watch it twice or something. <laughs> Anyway, um, that's how you do. That's how you use freeze frame in an intelligent manner on on uh, uh, Caden Live. And if you if you don't have Caden Live, it's a very powerful free editor. I mean, very powerful, and uh, it's free to download. And I I just love it. I use it all the time. If you have any questions about using Caden Live, don't hesitate to ask me. And uh, so let's go ahead, and uh, I want to thank you for watching my video, and God bless.